Greetings everyone, I'm Adam Harriton. In this video, I'm going to address a common question that foragers ask. Is chicken of the woods toxic if it's growing on a conifer tree? To give you an answer, I have to provide some context. So chicken of the woods, also called the chicken mushroom or sulfur shelf, isn't one species. There are many mushrooms that people call chicken of the woods. I live in the northeastern United States, specifically in Pennsylvania, and here we have at least three species. The first is Latopor sulfurius. This mushroom grows in shelf-like clusters on the wood of angiosperm trees. Angiosperm trees are flower-producing trees, like oak, maple, hickory, and cherry. Latopor sulfurius has a bright orange upper surface and a yellow underside covered with tiny pores. The second species is Latopora cincinnatus. This mushroom often grows in a rosette pattern away from the trunks of angiosperm trees, but it also grows directly on these trees. The top surface of this mushroom is a peachish orange color. The underside is white to cream colored and covered with tiny pores. The third species is Latoporus huroniensis. This mushroom is nearly identical to Latoporus sulfurius, with one major exception. Latoporus huroniensis grows on the wood of conifer trees, specifically on eastern hemlock trees. Now most people who forage edible mushrooms in this part of the world forage the first two species, Latoporus sulfurius and Cincinnatus, more often than they forage Latoporus huroniensis. There are two reasons for this. The first is that Latoporus sulfurius and Cincinnatus are much more abundant than Latoporus huroniensis. The second is that conifer-derived chicken mushrooms are reported to be problematic for some people. And by problematic, I mean gastrointestinally problematic. So what's going on here? Is chicken of the woods toxic if it's growing on a conifer? Well, as far as I know, there is no definitive research proving that conifer-derived chicken mushrooms are toxic. And it's important to note that many edible mushrooms, morels, chanterelles, hen of the woods, honey mushrooms, don't agree with everyone. Some people have sensitivities to certain edible mushrooms and they get sick eating them. This is true for chicken mushrooms. Some people cannot eat any chicken mushroom regardless of what it's growing on. Even the angiosperm-loving species, Latoporus sulfurius and Cincinnatus, make some people sick. Regarding the conifer-loving chicken mushroom, Latoporus huroniensis, I have eaten it a few times and I haven't experienced any negative effects. So I consider it to be edible. And I personally know people who have eaten this mushroom and they haven't experienced any negative effects. So they also consider this mushroom to be edible. But some people do get sick eating Latoporus huroniensis. And although the exact reasons aren't clear, negative effects associated with chicken mushroom consumption seem to be reported somewhat more often when the chicken mushroom has been harvested from a conifer tree. So I think it's fair to say that Latoporus huroniensis is edible for some people, but not for everyone. It's important to note that any chicken mushroom, regardless of substrate, should be cooked thoroughly. And I actually wouldn't be surprised if some of the negative effects associated with the consumption of certain chicken mushrooms have been the result of undercooking them. If you are going to harvest any Latoporus species, I recommend harvesting the mushroom when it's relatively young and transporting and storing it well. And if it's your first time eating that particular mushroom, start with a small amount, cook it well, abstain from alcohol while eating it, and wait 24 hours before consuming any more of that mushroom. Yes, these might seem like extreme precautions to take. Keep in mind, you don't have to take these steps every time you eat mushrooms, but it's not a bad idea to go easy the first time you consume a particular mushroom species, especially if that species is in the Latoporus genus. I hope this video helped to clear up some confusion. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe to the Learn Your Land YouTube channel and head on over to learnyourland.com and sign up for the email newsletter. Thanks again for watching. I will see you on the next video.